This is the Aru Pro. It's a Australian made fishing drone that has the capability to also do some 3D scanning. In today's video, we're gonna see just how good it is at it. Basically, this drone here will allow you to do some entry level photogrammetry. It won't be the ideal case because you won't have the ability to actually go through and pre-plan flight missions, you'll have to actually manually control this. So over something like a DJI Mini 4 Pro that has waypoint map that allows it to go autonomously map an area, um, this does not have that capability for where this does. So if you're interested in purely doing mapping, then you probably wanna just get, or 3D scanning, you probably wanna get a Mini. But if you're using this as a fishing drone and you wanna dabble in some 3D modeling, this would be great for you. So this little gimbal here is pretty solid. It's not a super great camera. It's about equivalent to maybe, I would say, a Mini 2, Mini 3 Pro, kind of. Um, it's 4K 30 video, but the pictures do have the appropriate metadata. So you can actually get a little bit of geo-referencing and actually get me usable measurements from whatever model you generate. So this drone also has a great lifting capability. So if by chance you wanted to actually go through and put a much nicer camera, we're talking maybe like a Sony camera. So for example, this is a Sony RX Mark 7, RX 100 Mark 7, and you could in theory attach this somehow on here and take pictures of this, and this is a mechanical shutter where this is electronic, and this has the capability to lift it safely. I don't know if I would trust just this pin. I'd probably wrap it around, do some other mounting mechanism, because it is a little easy to activate this pin on accident. However, this does offer some additional mounting capabilities, especially if you wanted to get some higher quality photogrammetry, but you also don't have the ability to use any of the Waypoint system in here to take pictures, and therefore Waypoint Map can't currently support this drone as it is. I'd love for them to add the ability for me to do that and go through and modify Waypoint Map to do that. However, as it stands now, this drone is just something that you have to manually fly. Overall, it's really also solid for a number of other reasons. This internal battery allows you to go through and fly in cold temperatures. So that means that in places where it would be rather difficult to fly this drone, you can actually go through and use it. And it means that this also has um, a certain cases in which it's actually better for photogrammetry if you're flying in a cold environment. Also about 60, what is it, 50, 45 minutes worth of battery life on this as well. So it overall is a really solid drone. So I'm gonna go through and do the standard test. I'm gonna fly over the baseball field and fly over the little bathhouse that I usually fly over. And we're gonna see how good are the models that come out of this. So the one thing I will say about this though is when flying this, the controllers are a little bit sensitive. I wanna say like there's a wall in which you press it, forward or something and then it takes a little bit more and then all of a sudden it's going a lot when it's not going at all so it's like either on or off and there's not a lot of in between i think the sticks just have a really strong uh, wall in which they activate but overall it was rather easy to fly um, you also have the ability to use the inbuilt time shots feature so you can go through and capture images every x amount of seconds i think the lowest they have is three I would definitely say though that if you are doing this and you are planning on moving very quickly, trying to get something, trying to capture an area and scan an area rather quickly, that you probably want to also go through and try to increase your shutter speed so that you are getting the least amount of time that the shutter is open while it's capturing the image to hopefully reduce some of that motion blur. So beforehand I was taking pictures manually, but I set it to three second intervals. You can actually set it to as low as one second intervals as you fly around to take the pictures. I have the ISO as low as possible and I also have the shutter speed to as low as possible to hopefully reduce some of the noise. Obviously you don't want the image too dark, but you also may notice that the image in my opinion actually does again look kind of weird. It looks funky. The orange in the ground is not really representing reality so i think there might just need to be some kind of color tuning as well if that's really as big of an issue um, that's something you could probably address it's probably also a white balance issue so you could easily really compensate for this if you wanted to however overall this was a little bit better than beforehand on the last test of the bathhouse and this was a little bit easier for me to go through and just fly around a couple times so i actually ended up doing quite a few more loops than i normally do I actually normally do a kind of a two loop uh, for most of the tests with the DJI drones, especially using Waypoint Map. But for this one, I wanted to make sure that I truly showed its mapping capabilities and 3D modeling capabilities. So I went through and did a couple more loops, a couple different heights. And I think overall, I think the final result looks good. So let's hop over into Aerial Model, process each of these models, and see what they look like. 
Okay, so on the left here, we have the Aero Pro, which is the fishing drone. And this is the model that that was able to generate with me manually going through and flying the mission. And on the right, you have the DJI Air 3S running waypoint map for the autonomous flight and then also processed using the same exact settings and software. So as you can see on the left here, um, I, it's the first thing that just kind of like kind of peeks out at me is that the fact that a while this is probably a little bit better in terms of the subject that it's focusing on since I flew this manually the colors seem to be off and what I mean by that is that like if you look at the the colors this is actually artificial turf so this isn't even um really like there's not really much variation you could guess this was taken oh I don't want to say like a month or two after this but realistically that green has not faded that much and even if you look at something like the blue turf up here it's still kind of washed out so i feel like that the colors are not the best accuracy however the i think the model actually comes out a little bit better this looks pretty solid and i do think that the color is a little bit off also this was taken on a sunny day I don't remember what this was taken on, but the fact that the Aero Pro was taken on a sunny day and it kind of looks pretty yucky as well is another indication as well. But overall, I think the, the model quality is really good. The picture itself, all the pictures have georeferenced metadata, so you can actually go through and take measurements from this, same that you would with the DJI Air 3S. I don't know, make sure that I'm taking the right measurements. As you can see, I'm not... So if we put that up there, it's about the same, really the same distance. So you can take measurements like you would with any other drone. Um, the only thing that really is the downside is that you don't have the capability to go through and use this on any type of automatic flight planner. So you can, like waypoint map, for example. So you can't actually go through and fly an automated mission like you would on the Air 3S, which actually ends up saving you a lot of time, especially for larger areas. Now, also I wanna throw in the caveat that these measurements, while yes, they are somewhat accurate and stuff, you'd probably wanna to switch to some type of higher accuracy RTK system for probably tens, eight or nine thousand dollars but if you wanted to do something relatively cheaply like offer this to a client for just maybe making a 3d model relatively to scale this is kind of the application you could do that for especially with the error pro being able to load the pictures up in here and being able to actually get a 3d model out of that drone that's actually usable in most pretty much for 90 percent of the cases that a freelance pilot or someone that has that drone would use it for is really awesome so Overall, I'd say it's rather high quality. I mean, the flight plan was roughly the same. It looks rather identical to the Air 3. Um, I would say that I think this was flown at a larger circle radius versus this one I flew manually and really focused on the bathhouse itself. So that's probably what I would attribute the difference to. Going over to the baseball fields, you can really see the difference in these colors. I don't know why this is such a putrid brown versus uh, the sand is a putrid brown versus the pale yellow here or the pale peach. Basically, it looks like sand. So it's just interesting that this is the, the trees even look different. The color science just seems off, in my opinion. But also, on the same time, I flew a couple circles around this sucker. The model itself looks rather good. I mean, we can try to replicate here. Um, but I also did fly this mostly manually, so you have a lot more pictures to work with. I think this was closer to 50, maybe 70 pictures, 80, and this was 143. So this is somewhat more pictures, um, just because I wanted to make sure that I got enough overlap as well. But overall, you can produce rather good quality models with the Aero Pro especially with having that inbuilt metadata. And my only request is that they have some type of ability to automate their inbuilt waypoints feature to basically throw it into like waypoint map, etc., to spit out an automated mission. But overall, I think the camera on this looks like it produces good quality models. That's not an issue. The colors do seem to be off. But other than that, I think it does look perfectly fine. And I think a more than capable drone for doing some 3D scanning. So if you have an Aero Pro, you can go through, fly around a subject a couple times in some circles, um, use the time shots feature, which is available on that drone as it is, 
and be able to spit out a really solid 3D model as well. Maybe you want to take a picture of like a beach or something like that and you want to make a 3D model of the beach, you can do that. So there's a couple of different opportunities as well to use um, the Aero Pro for this case. I think it's good enough. Um, I would say though, if you're doing anything kind of serious, you're doing this as something you'd offer to clients. I don't think the Aero Pro is something that you're going to be getting just to do freelance drone work. I think you're getting that to do fishing. So if you're a, a fisherman that wants to do some 3D scanning, it's definitely possible.